Hello everyone. I am so glad to be back. I'm using a number four mold uh, for this stone. That's about four and a half inches wide and you can get this molded, uh, you can get the mold from Happy Dotting Company on Etsy uh, and you can use my discount code Rachel's Rocks Canada. Um, today I am not doing a bear. <laughs> Ignore my sketching. I am also not doing a hippo. Please ignore the sketching. <laughs> this is me trying to figure out what the heck an otter looks like, guys, because I have loved otters for my whole life. They also love rocks just as much as I do. They're the cutest little creatures in the whole world, and I really wanted to do a dotted otter. Someone requested a dotted one, so here we go. <laughs> you guys have seen me do dotted artwork before. I usually like to start off with, uh, well, pencil first, and then I fill it in with gold and black and get rid of the stuff I don't want and keep the stuff I like until it turns into what I'm trying to make. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what stage we're at right now. I'm kind of trying to uh, outline the areas that I want to keep with gold. And then I'm going to fill it all in with black. And then we're going to fill it in with colorful dots. The only thing is, is this otter is not going to be completely colorful. He's going to be shades of brown um, and white and a little bit of black here and there. But he's not going to be very colorful. But we're still going to fill in the dots the same way we would with our colorful stones. Um, we're just going to do it otter colored. <laughs> so I'm it does look like a hippo and I feel bad for my husband because I I felt like it looked like a hippo and then I asked him you know look what I'm painting look what my next tutorial is and he, and I said do you know what it is and he goes uh a hippo <laughs> no husband <laughs> it is not a hippo um but yeah i I uh, felt like this wasn't turning out for a long time and I actually almost gave up a couple of times because I don't want it to look like a hippo, um, but we'll see. You guys can let me know at the end if it still looks like a hippo. Um, it's not going to be easy for me to explain how to draw the otter face. Uh, basically, it looks like a hippo and then the way we color it <laughs> will hopefully change it from looking like a hippo to looking like a dotted otter, but we shall see. It's got like a little lumpy head and cute little ears and uh, a really cute face. And hopefully with the whiskers, it will it will look more like an otter. Uh, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I am officially back. Um, I want to actually give a shout out to a few people who've sent me PayPal donations over the summer. Um, you have no idea how much I appreciate every little cent that you have donated. Even if it's a small amount, you guys, it really helps out my family and I because I'm not able to work very much with my kids being home. And they've been home for six months. And then before that, they, they weren't at school for very long either. They were home a lot of the year before. <laughs> so it's been really hard. And I know you guys have seen my, my videos dwindle. I'm not painting as much. I'm trying to keep stuff going in my Etsy shop, but I feel like uh, I feel like a machine at this point because I'm I'm just trying to keep going, <laughs> and it's hard with the kids being home, and I can't be very creative because I can't even think <laughs> with, with my kids home. Um, so I just want to give a little shout out to a few people. I don't usually do this, but I want to recognize the people who are donating to my life in order for me to keep going and creating tutorials. So uh, I just want to give a shout out to Kristen. I'm not going to say your last names. You know who you are. I know you know who you are. And you know I love you. Kristen, Denise, uh, Sheila, Vicky, and Janice. Um, not going to dox any of you and give out your personal information. I just want to give you a virtual hug and kiss. 
Um, that's COVID friendly, by the way. <laughs> you are COVID safe, even though I don't have COVID. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much because without you, I wouldn't be able to keep going. My channel does not make delicious amounts of money and I'm taxed on it. And, you know, I really don't get paid very much to have these tutorials out for you guys for free. So um, I just want to thank you. It means a lot to me and to my family. So I don't want to get too sappy and start bawling my eyes out or anything, but I just want you to know you're appreciated. And everyone who hits the like button, or if you share my tutorials with your family and friends, thank you. I appreciate that as well. That, that helps my videos get seen by more people and more people can paint with me. And that makes my heart full. So thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed, who have supported me in any way, whether it's a like on Facebook or a like on Instagram. Thank you. I love you all. And I'm, I appreciate you all. So I have done my best to make this hippo, hippo otterus. That's what it is. It's a hippo otterus. <laughs> Um, I have used a compass to draw a frame around it and I've painted the uh, lower half of that frame black. Uh, I've done actually two line or two circles with the compass. They're very close together though. You'll see those a little bit later. I'm going to be using a couple of different shades of brown and a little bit of pink for his nose and for his lip. Um, but I'm going to be starting off with, it's called Burnt Umber. I will list all the paint colors in the description below. That is a promise. Um, I'm doing a little bit of pink in the nose, guys. Just a couple little dots in the nose and you'll see it come together very soon. Um, it's not going to be easy for me to explain this. It's going to be easier for you to watch what I'm doing. Um, but basically, I'm filling in this little area with pink, and then I'm going to make some nostrils with black, with the black dots. Um, I'm using Burnt Umber. I'm using, what is it called? It's Real Brown, which is a darker brown than the Burnt Umber. Uh, I'm using Camel and White. Um, for the color that I'm using right now, that's Camel and White mixed together. So it's like a very light camel color. It's not white. It's a light camel. And I'm going to give him a pink lip. He still looks like a hippopot, a, a hippopotamus. <laughs> we got to change this. Hopefully by coloring him in, he'll look more and more like a not hippo. <laughs> I hope this turns out, you guys. Cross your fingers for me. Um, so I started off with some bigger dots in the area. Um, and then I'm going to go around them with smaller dots. Uh, I see a lot of dot artists do really cool designs with the sizes of their dots and the perfection of them. And you guys know I'm not all about perfection, so I'm not worried about the sizes of the dots this time around. Um, if you guys have seen my Leo the Lion, um, I worried about the sizes of dots in my, my Lion uh, canvas. I'll post a picture of it uh, in here as well for you so that you can see it. Um, but I worried about the sizes of the dots with that um, for a reason because I wanted to get the shape of the face with the dots. But this one, um, this otter, I'm really just filling it in with color in dot form and it doesn't really matter what size the dots are. I'm keeping them like pretty much all the same size. I'm not really worrying about size or shape. Some of them aren't even circular. You can see that. <laughs> now I can, I'm using camel colored dots um, just above the lip and below the lip, just a little bit darker than that lighter camel color I was using before. This is the burnt umber, that lighter brown. And any of the darker brown that you see, that is real brown. So it's like a dark, dark, chocolate that one um, and it's really hard to see the color contrast against the black when I haven't resined this yet but you will see all the colors of the dots 
every shade of brown that I use, you'll be able to see it all properly once it's coated with resin because it brings out the actual colors and they stand out on top of that black. So that's what I like about dotting. It, it's uh, You start off with a black surface, but they end up being so bright and colorful um, against that black. It's I just love it because most people use white to have a brighter color uh, in the end. But for some reason, dots still stand out on top of that black. So you can see where I'm putting the darker brown. You can see where I'm adding. It's a little blurry and it's going to be a blurry a couple of times, but you can still see it's kind of like I'm just coloring it in, but I'm dotting. And this is sped up a lot um, because this took me hours. This is going to be a long one, everyone. Uh, literally, it took me... Uh, Without including all the pausing and like cooking dinners and stuff like that, it took four hours of recording to create this hippo otteris. <laughs> um, and then I had to cut it all down and get rid of all the stuff that you guys didn't need to see. Like when I forget to hit the pause button and I go get my kids some fruit snacks. <laughs> There's like 20 minutes of the, the camera just sitting there watching the paint dry. So I have to get rid of some of that stuff and edit it and speed it up because all of this dotting took hours. So um, yeah, you can see it's blurry, but you can still see what the point is that I'm getting at. <laughs> I hope. Anyway, I'm sure someone will let me know that I need to work on my camera skills. Um, but at least you can see it. It's not just paper <laughs> that you're seeing <laughs> and then the corner of it. Um, yeah. I, and you haven't heard a notification yet, you guys. I work on some things. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I film these using a little Samsung phone, <laughs> so um, you get what you get. I'm doing the best I can, y'all. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. I've missed you guys so much. When I'm not making tutorials, please believe me, I am thinking about you. I'm thinking about all the people who are leaving sweet comments and saying, Rachel, I miss you. Are you going to have another tutorial out today? I... I love getting these comments. That means I'm still needed by you guys, and that makes me feel really good. Um, I'm filling in the whole top of the head with the burnt umber, uh, and then I'm going to be bringing up some light camel, like the camel mixed with white. I'm going to be bringing up some of that to make it look like shiny, wet fur at the top, um, just to give it some definition and try and make it look like an otter. You guys, it still doesn't look like an otter. It's kind of looking like a type of dog. <laughs> we might be in trouble. I might need to change the name of this tutorial to Hippo Otterus Dog Hybrid. I don't even know. I'm sorry if this isn't a dotted otter in the end. <laughs> Even I lose confidence in my paintings midway through. Um, so I'm using a little bit of the burnt umber mixed with camel. And I just kind of lightened or darkened the camel a little bit. And I'm just dotting upwards on his forehead, which you can't see. I'm sorry. Um, I put it on his little eyelid area there. Some lighter camel color too. I'm going to bring it down so you guys can see what I'm doing here in just a moment. But basically, I'm dotting up so it looks like he has like little wrinkles in his forehead. And I'm adding some of that. I'm just kind of blending in. I'm adding some dots into the white, some of the darker dots into the white. So it blends in with the white area a little bit better. And now I'm going back up to the little wrinkles in his forehead. So I started off with a beige color, like the camel mixed with burnt umber. And then over top of that, I'm going with the lighter camel color that we started off at the beginning. Now I'm doing white on the eyes to make his eyes look shiny and white just on the tip of his nose there as well to make that look shiny. Now camel mixed with burnt umber is what I'm dotting below here. 
And you can see I've sketched on in pencil like a little hand. Uh, you'll be able to see that a lot better. And we're going to just fill that in with burnt umber and make the fingertips a little bit lighter. The, the underneath of his hand is going to be lighter dots and you'll see that afterwards too. So now I'm going over top of his mouth area or his snout area with some white just over top of the light camel because it makes it stand out a little bit more in some areas putting that white there. A little bit of white on his chin. Hopefully he doesn't still look like a hippopotamus. Um, but we shall see. <laughs> so I, I once again using the burnt umber mixed with camel. So it's like a lighter brown. And that's going to be his shoulder area and around the front. And then his hand is going to be dark. But with lighter underneath where the palm of his hand and, and fingers would be a little bit lighter. Those cute little hands that like to play with rocks. I just love them. So I'm outlining with gold again to clean it up because I have dotted over the edge in some areas. I'm going to find his hand in gold as well. Be we're not, we're not going to use glitter on our otter, but we're going to put some glitter in the background where his water is going to be. Uh, yes, the background is going to be hologram 2796. I have not used hologram in some time and I missed it. So we're going to use it today. <laughs> Uh, once you've outlined it with gold, I'm outlining it with black as well to separate it from the background. And I'm also outlining under his mouth. And I'm making sure that everything else that is his ears, everything, everything is outlined properly. And I'm also going to do a black line to separate his paw or his arm from his body. But I'll do that after. And I'm going a little bit darker. I'm going down down near, it's just going lower on his chest there, but it's getting darker. So I've put some darker dots where it starts to go lower to the very edge of the circle. And now his hand, you can see I filled it in with that dark chocolate color, real brown. And then I did just the fingertips in a lighter brown. So here's where we hope he turns into an otter. <laughs> We're doing some whiskers, y'all. You know otters have the cutest whiskers in the world, especially when there's little water droplets on them. They just make me fall in love. <laughs> so I'm doing random whiskers everywhere using my tiny little dotting needle. The dotting needle I got from thepinkchair.ca. And I'm not sure if there's still a discount code there. I haven't heard anything or received an email, uh, but that's where I purchased my dotting needle from. Oh, he does look like an otter. He's cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is he looking a little bit more like an otter now? I really hope so. See how those whiskers still stand out? Even though it's on top of all of those dots, you can still see those white whiskers. All right, the background. I have painted the background white. You can see all my brush strokes. I should have used a, a sponge. <laughs> I didn't use a sponge. Uh, I'm using sponges now. Now what I've done is I've used cerulean blue and aqua. And I've used a paintbrush to go around the outside edge with the cerulean blue so you can see that dark blue edge. And then I'm sponging aqua into that edge and blending it in while it's still wet. And I'm using little Martha Stewart um, paint uh, sponge daubers. And I actually found them on Amazon here in Canada for 14 bucks, which is the first time I've ever seen them at that price. So I bought some, I bought some new ones, but I still have my old ones and I still use them all the time. Um, but, and if the tips fall off, I glue them back on. I let them dry if they're wet and then I glue them back on once they're dry and they work great. So I've done that all the way around the edge. You got that dark blue and then the light blue blended into it, that aqua color. It's beautiful. Looks nice against the uh, dotted otter. 
We're not doing a dotted background. We're going to do glitter, glitter, and bubbles. We're going to do some bubbles too. So I'm just making sure he's still outlined in gold and that I didn't sponge over him uh, when, when I did my background. And I'm refinding the outline that I made of the double circle frame again. I got to find that. <laughs> and then I'm going to put black inside that double circle frame. And then we're going to dot that with uh, the aqua and the blue. We're just going to do a simple dotted frame. And it's not going to be taking away from the dotted otter face. It's just going to be very, very simple. But it takes a while to make the circle look like a circle again if you've smudged over top of it and you lost your lines. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find it again after all the sponging. Hologram. I need to make a song about Hologram 2796. It's so beautiful. I use a paintbrush to get around all the nooks and crannies, but then I'm using a finger sponge. You can use a Martha Stewart sponge just like we used before. Uh, just a sponge. I want to make sure there's an even layer of glitter um, so there's no like streaking going on. The only one streaking is the Otta. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want a nice even layer of that hologram and you're going to see it sparkle like crazy once it's dry. It's already sparkling like crazy. Here's my, my new daubers, my new sponge daubers. So what I've done is I've grabbed two sizes of sponge daubers and I've dipped it in the gold and sponged off any extra gold paint and then I've put them on here, sponged them on real simple just a couple of bubbles. We're going to let that gold dry. I'm going to outline my otter in black again because I went over it with some uh, over sponging. Just going a little extra with the background there. So now with my aqua, now that my gold is dry, I'm using a little blending brush and I'm sponging on some of that aqua color so that these bubbles don't have the same glittery background with the hologram 2796. Now they're just plain old aqua colored bubbles. But now we're going to use, you don't have to do this, but I am. Um, this is top coat. It's a UV coat for nails. Um, you have to have a UV lamp to dry it. Um, I don't know if it works out in the sun. I've never tried, but I'm using my little UV lamp and I've put that uh, top coat on the bubbles and now I'm using like a chrome powder and it's like a teal colored chrome powder or uh, blue bluish so it just made those bubbles all shiny and it just makes them look different from the background and it looks super nice so here's my dotted background there's just enough room for a dot just enough space for one dot beside each other all the way around. So I started off with aqua, then I went to teal, then I went to cerulean blue, which is the same blue I used around the edge, and I just keep reusing those three colors all the way around. Aqua, teal, blue, teal, aqua, blue, teal, like just all the way around. And I'm doing five dots of each color. You'll be able to see it a lot better once I hold it still for you at the end. Um, don't get discouraged, <laughs> even though I did multiple times throughout this. Try not to. Try to persevere like I did, and he actually turned out super cute. So I'm painting the whole background black, going to let him dry, and then I'm going to put him in his resin bath. But first, here is what's at my desk. Oh gosh, I shouldn't ever sing it like that again. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> so I have a phone grip. I don't have very many phone grips right now. I have mostly been making keychains or whatever you choose to use them for. Maybe you wear them on a chain. Uh, they're stainless steel bezels. So I like to make keychains out of these ones, but also people put them on a chain. So Super nice peacock feathers in different colors with lots of glitter. This one's a mandala type of situation. Uh, this one's another droopy daisy, but it's got some sparkly little butterflies there with it. 
I love making these little things. What else do I have here? I do have a beautiful Lake Superior stone, which I am very blessed to live near and be able to search for hours in in ice, rain, snow. You would not believe what I have done and my husband. We have we have gone through a lot of stuff just to find some really nice rocks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I feel very blessed and I'm blessed to be able to share them with you guys in my Etsy shop as well. Uh, this, I don't even know what that is. It's like a flower maybe with some gold and some sparkle and some glitter. <laughs> Here's a Hamsa. You guys have seen me do these before. Uh, once again, look at that stone. It's all about the stone. It's all about the canvas that I'm working with. I want to make sure you see that beautiful natural background. Also, my favorite color is purple. So here is a dotted purple rose. You guys have seen me do these before. If you haven't, take a look at my video list. I have over 200 videos there for free. This beauty is going to my beautiful Aunt Annette, who just finished her last chemo treatment and rang the bell, and she's going to bring this stone to her treatment center. So that's very exciting. Well, guys, hit the like button if I've entertained you in any way, shape, or form, or if you're proud of my aunt for being a warrior, if you thought it looked like a hippo, <laughs> hit the like button <laughs> or the not like button it shouldn't be there but if you don't like it let me know anyway I think he turned out gorgeous I think he looks like a curious little otter who's peeking out and wants to come play with my rocks <laughs> I'll give him really nice ones I think he's gorgeous. But you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. I've missed you guys so much. Do you think you're going to try and, and create this with me? Uh, or is it a little too much? There will be more coming soon. I, I love you guys. You know that. And I can't wait to create with you again. Just keep painting. That's all you got to do. Bye, guys. Love you.